Today I want to show you how to use the satellite features of this Space Ultra Plus meter. Please note that there are multiple input ports. The left hand side one if you're looking at the meter is the satellite. The right hand side one is for terrestrial signals. So let's go ahead and power up the meter. And there we go, we arrive at the home menu. Simply press the OK button to go into satellite. We find various functions here. So we have the measure function, we have the LNB setting mode, we have the edit satellite feature, we have the spectrum chart, we have the angle calculation, as well as a DISEC monitor. So to begin with, in terms of basic functionality, let's go into the measure. Highlight it and then press OK. From here we need to select which satellite, so for example there's the IS-20 on a smart LNB, that's if it's on a SATCR port, there's the two port smart LNB, the LMX-502, Utilsat 3B and there are numerous satellites that have been programmed into this unit which include the most popular ones, E-16, E-36, uh, SES-5, E-7A and IS-20. So let's go back to IS-20 on Legacy. If we go down one, we select which transponder we are looking for. So you can see you can flip through the various transponders and then it will bring up the signal level. Now what's very nice to note is that it gives you the carrier to noise ratio as well as a dB microvolt reading. So when doing troubleshooting or problem solving it helps you to diagnose problems and gives you a fairly accurate dB microvolt reading as well as the carrier to noise ratio. To exit out of this menu, simply press the menu button on your meter and we go back one. Very briefly, I just want to show you the spectrum. This is quite a nice tool if you're going to be aligning satellite dishes. So one enters into the spectrum and there we go. We can change the range of the spectrum by simply enlarging the left arrow key and moving it to the right and you can see I'm zooming out. And if you press the up button one more time, we can now look through that spectrum chart and try and identify what the transponder is. So for example, I've zoomed in there on 11008 and the reading is 87 dB microvolts. The spectrum is fairly accurate uh, in comparison to other meters and it should be quite a handy tool when trying to align satellite dishes or do basic diagnostics such as figuring out LTE interference etc. There are other features to the meter on the satellite side of the equation but that will give you a fairly good overview of how to use it when uh, doing voucher installations or basic installations in a domestic environment. Please note that the maximum input into the meter is at 100 dB and the unit is compatible with both C-band, KU-band and has all of the SATCR user bands programmed into the meter itself. Everything has already been set up for you. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to make them below or get in touch with one of the branches and we'll happily show you how the meter works. Have a fantastic day.